Now we have our AI set, we should be able to do the rest of the programming. I will edit it. Make a trigger. And the switch of the other three are off. Now the reason for this, I hope, is that when one of these switches turns on, it won't bring up another message. It'll stick to one and the game will end. And this is why games take so long to build, sometimes in the years, because programming takes forever. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, I will add an action out of this. I'll go ahead and save our game for the first time. Let's see what happens. Will this work? It really looks glitchy, doesn't it? Okay, will this work? No. I think I know what's going on. Okay, let's go back to our graphics. Do some debugging. That should be real quick. Okay. Edit. Put in a new space. I'm going to import this one, this is this one, over there, I'm going to go back to our first phase, I'm going to wipe it out, I'm going to go ahead E, B1, and I'm just rub it out. And we'll do that with the other ones too.
that is not enough. So we'll go ahead and go ahead into the programming. Select the object. And each time... When the switch is on, and the time is hit, and all the traders are met, we will add an action. It will... Hang on, hang on. No, I'm sorry. We will edit. And now we will have it play once. That should do the trick. We just repeat it for all four. Got the little ninja dude. That kind of is your scroll bar thing. It's kind of cute. And now let's see if it does what we want it to do. Uh -huh, indeed, how about taking a break? Okay, Magic 8-Ball, will you work for us? Okay. And that is not what we wanted it to do. Now it's just blinking everything at us. Gotta love debugging. Okay, time is almost 3 a.m. Now we are about to surpass the uh, finish point that I hoped to do for this project. Okay.